Hello to this VMware Cloud Direct Availability 4.5 feature review video. Let's start with the backup automation. As a new feature in 4.5, system administrators can now schedule the generation of encrypted backup archives for their VMware Cloud Direct Availability appliances. It is done through the new menu called Scheduled Backup Archives. First, you need to specify a trusted SFTP server destination and provide the authentication details, credentials or a public key. After testing the connection by uploading a sample file, the wizard guides you to the next step, which is the backup interval. You can set it from 30 minutes to 1 week. The last step is to provide the password for the encrypted archive. If there is any issue, you can identify it by the task status. Once the schedule is set, it can be modified. The destination can be changed and the old server can be untrusted. The interval also can be adjusted. The trusted hosts appear under Settings Trusted SSH Hosts where you can see details about them and remove them if they are not in use. VMware Cloud Director users are familiar with the advisories. Now they can be used by the system administrators to push notifications that are visible not only in the VMware Cloud Director UI but also in the VMware Cloud Director Availability Management Portal. Such notifications are very convenient for announcing upcoming maintenance or upgrades as different priorities can be set and the message itself can contain text and links. Only system administrators can configure them in the Advisories menu under Administration in the Cloud Director UI. They can be addressed to other system administrators, users of all tenant organizations which might affect organizations that do not use VMware Cloud Director availability or specific organizations and all their users. Another new thing that is introduced by VMware Cloud Direct Availability 4.5 is role-based access control. There are two new roles available in VMware Cloud Director for the org administrator to assign to the users, view and modify. To get started with the new roles, first the system administrator needs to create a new rights bundle and publish it to the relevant tenants. Then the org admin can create new roles based on these rights in their organization if they are relevant to their use case. After having them present, users can be created and assign these roles. In this case, you can see how to create a view-only user. This view-only user can be utilized for monitoring or reviewing purposes without risking any changes to their applications and their settings. It is something that might be very useful for cloud providers who run a managed service. After logging in as such a user, you can see the connected peer sites, ongoing replications, their status and recovery settings. But everything is grayed out and cannot be modified. One of the most exciting new features in 4.5 is the new recovery settings menu that offers a complete set of replication customizations based on the VMware Cloud Director guest customization settings. In the previous versions, users could set the network settings and the computer name. Now all the available guest customization settings can be configured, such as changing the computer name or seat for Windows VMs, password reset, joining a domain, and even specifying a script to be executed on the recovered VM at the destination site for additional modifications. You can still define different settings for test and failover or migration. There is also a copy button that you can use for copying them to the test tab instead of configuring them once again. In addition to the existing VM placement policy selection, in VMware Cloud Direct Availability 4.5 you can also select the VM sizing policy. It is done in the Replication Configuration Wizard under Settings, VDC Policy Settings. You can choose to use none, the default or a specific one from the list of available policies. Replication policies are essential to system administrators for onboarding tenants and defining service tiers. 
They also got an upgrade in this new release and now you can clone an existing policy to save you the effort of configuring a similar one with a minor difference. Also there is a new setting to prevent migrating VMs from the cloud to the on-premises site that many cloud providers find very useful. These are some of the most significant new features in VMware Cloud Direct Availability 4.5. Thanks for watching.